Back in 2009, when Governor Calvo was first uh, deciding to run for governor, uh, one of the things that he noticed was that um, there was all this focus on the military buildup. Governor Strategic Planning Advisor Troy Torres said Calvo was worried about what would happen after the buildup. Would the island be able to sustain itself? How could Guam avoid an economic downturn in the years that followed? That's where the idea for the Imagine Guam process came into play. The Imagine Guam program is going to um, develop a 50-year strategic vision for Guam, and it's called Guam 2065. The process aims to create a holistic vision that will guide policymakers as they formulate decisions regarding culture, technology, education, and more. What can be our reality over the next 50 years, and then put it all together to see this one vision of Guam. And the reason that's important is because we've never had one before. So let's say there's a vision of Guam 50 years from now where you know, the population is going to be uh, 400,000 people, Let, let's just say. And we're always going to keep the value that we're not going to develop the southern part of the island beyond a certain point. And so maybe that means we need some skyscrapers in certain areas of the island. Torres said the strategic vision will allow policymakers to identify next steps and challenges that can be addressed now in order to make the vision a reality down the road. But the focal point needed to get the program started is the involvement of the community. The governor is asking community members to provide feedback on a list of 13 questions that will help government officials to define the values prioritized in the strategic plan. We want to hear it all. So there's, you can call the governor's office, 472-8931, um, ask to speak to me, Troy. You can email imagine at guam.gov. You can also post your answers to the governor's Facebook page. The list of questions can be found online at kuam.com. And the first forum to discuss these questions will take place July 9 at 2 p.m. at the Government House in Adaloop. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Issa Baza.